everybody welcome back to the channel and welcome back to part two of horses today we will be covering like I said in the last video black red green and the multicolored and the newer stuff from the currently new Lord of the Rings set still new if we haven't already got another one by the time this is aired but nonetheless let's go on ahead and get into it starting off with black with flesh mad steed for one and a black it's a two two whenever another creature dies tap flesh mad steed now this could go into a uh oh, what is it called a tap ability whenever a creature becomes tapped do something type effect and i just now noticed looking at this art this this horse has like six legs yeah didn't didn't realize that till now Theros is crazy, yo. Underworld Charger for two and a black. It's a 3-3. Nightmare Horse. I actually like the art on this one a lot. It's pretty cool. Uh, Underworld Charger can't block, but when you escape it for four and a black, exile three other cards from your graveyard, and when it escapes for with... It escapes with two plus one plus one counters on it. So it's 5-5 five, five for, for five whenever you play it, which is pretty... You know, this is not a bad card. Bad rate of a, on, a, on a horse. For three, you get a three-three. For five, you for five and three other guards, you get a five-five. So you know, not that bad at all, actually. Dust Charger for three and a black, you get a three-three with a sin. So if you have ten or more permanents, you get the city's blessing, and it gets plus two plus two if you have ascended. So it's a five-five for four, which is not bad. Stallion of Ashmouth. For three and a black, it's a three-three nightmare horse, and it has a delirium effect, which is for one and a black, it gets plus one plus one to under turn. Activate if this ability only if there are four more card types among cards in your graveyard, which is not bad. But you know, this yeah, I mean this is, could be pretty easily done in a EDH deck. Plague Mare for one and two black. It's a two two. Plague Mare can't be blocked by white creatures. Seems legit. It's a nightmare horse, and for when it enters the battlefield, creatures your opponent control get minus one, minus one. So if you got a uh, a tutor and a very excuse me and a opponent with a very go wide but not tall deck. This would be uh, one of them little board clears for them. Ghoul Steed for four and a black. It's a four four. Zombie Horse for two and a black. You get to discard two cards and return it from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. See, the, see this is why I was talking about in the last video. You put uh, life gain and like discard card effects and reanimator all in one and so it'd be like black white reanimator and life gain kind of sorta and plus with like uh where was it stallion of ashmouth you could discard whatever you wanted and then it would you could buff it up forever so this this is where these play together black carriage for three and two black it's a four four and been eroded summon carriage from carriage to horse it's a four. It's a five mana four four with trample, and but it does not untap during your untap phase. You can sacrifice a creature. This is a zero sacrifice a creature ability, but you can only do it during your upkeep. So it's kind of like a what is it called? The I'm trying to think of what it's called. Somebody leave it down in the comments below. I can't remember. Oh, what is the name of it? Grim Monolith? I think that's what it is. Grim Monolith. Or it's one of the mana barocks that you can only do during your untap phase. Here it is. The, the bestest of the bestest of the black horses. It's Nightmare. Because for five and a black, you get a star star flying nightmare horse that says, fuck anything that's, that's not a swamp. Pretty much. Because he's bigger when the swamps are, be are better. Which is pretty cool because if you have this Urborg and a Cabal Coffers, you're just you're winning at the game, or you're just playing mono black. You know, I mean, there's not a lot of enough horses to play mono black horses, but 
I digress. This is still pretty cool. And I love the flavor text. The thunder of its hooves beats dreams into despair. It's pretty cool. Now we get into our red horses with Lightning Mare. For two red, it's a 3-1. This spell can't be countered, and it's an elemental horse. This is pretty cool. It can't be blocked by blue creatures. And for one and a red, it, the ability on it, it gets plus one, plus oh until end of turn. See, this will be good in a Caravac deck, I think that's what his name is, where the bigger the power and the smaller the toughness matters more. Kind of like, sort of. But you just got to pay more into it. It's still pretty cool, though. I like this idea. Dwarven Pony. For one red mana, you get a 1-1. One, one. And it's a summon pony. Which is pretty cool. For one in a red mana, you can tap it. Target Dwarf gains Mountain Walk until end of turn. Yeah, I don't think you're going to be putting this into a horse travel deck doesn't do anything for horses unless you have like a masculine nexus this this on the field with another horse you could just like all right it gets mountain walk my 30 30 commander gets a mountain walk because it's a dwarf too i hear helena's got a pony that can count to six and that likes to eat meat this is this is probably one of the strangest flavor texts I've ever read. That is just so weird. Oh, let's get away from that. Thundermare for five and a red. It's a five-five creature Thundermare before they I think they before they decided it was gonna be a horse. I think they thought they were gonna have more Thundermares. But it has haste for I'd hope so. Oh, and this is new to me because this ability on this is dope. Whenever it comes into play, tap all other creatures. That means if you can bounce all your creatures real quick and play this, and then they all come back in, there, it's just it's pretty dope. I kind of like it, you know. Tap all other creatures. That's your opponents too. So if you got somebody that just went before you and you play this, now they're open until their next turn. And that's pretty cool. That So like a Mardu horses now that I would probably want to play this. Like you can't block, but you know. As long as you attack before this. I mean, you would probably want to attack with this. But if you didn't want to attack with it and you just wanted to mess with everybody at the table. Throw some chaos around. This would be it. Now we're getting to our red with our sacred prey for one one green, it's a one one. When it becomes blocked, you gain a life. It's not going to be blocking for long. Tarpan for one green, it's a one one. Summon the tarpan. No, it's a horse. If tarpan is put into a graveyard from play, you gain a life. I don't know. Maybe in sixty card this was good, but this is not that great anymore. Teamer Charger for one in green and a generic. It has Morph and it's a 3 1. And when it comes, when it's turn face up, Tark Creature gains Trample to end a turn. I'm sorry, that I just couldn't go through that. I was just looking at this horse's face, like, and its hooves. That is the weirdest looking horse I've ever seen. But then again, nothing ever looks right on Tarkir. Oh, that is just hard to look at oh the tusk coming out no that is not a horse this 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 right here is a horse this is the epitome this is what all horses should be based off of in the game of magic even though it kind of looks weird because its body is bigger than its legs but still zodiac horse for three and a green it's a three three with island walk because that makes a lot of sense. Horses have island walk. I don't get it. I mean, this is not bad for a 3-3 three, three if you got like a blue player that you're going against. Vine Mare. For two and two green, it's a 5-3. Which is probably the strongest horse we've seen so far besides uh, you know, Nightmare. Because it really, but then again, that's dependent on if you, how many 
swamps you have. But it has hexproof and can't be blocked by black creatures. When it passes, the dead are displaced by the flourishing life. That's so weird. This looks like it would be on like Innistrad or something, don't it? Especially like the, the background. I wish we could see like a, a marker or something of where it was at. Timber Mare. Okay, I don't get this. We got a we had a Thunder Mare who was a Thunder Mare. But we have a Timber Mare that's an elemental. It's so weird. Magic don't know how to make its mind up. But for three and a green, you can get a five five with haste and echo five and a green. When it comes into play, tap all other creatures. So if you're trying to tap everybody's stuff again, you're playing green in this one too. Which I think Thundermare is an elemental horse too. So you could probably make an elemental deck and throw some horses in it be like, ta-da, it's a horse deck. No. No, no. You probably couldn't. Thundering Mightmare. See, this I love. I love this art. But at the same time, I'm kind of confused because I could have swore it said horse. And that head looks like a goat. Unless like horses are growing horns in Innistrad now. Yeah, unless they're growing horns now. But for four and a green, you get a 3-3 three, three horse spirit with Soulbound. Which is, I think that's the first time we've seen Soulbound new, on new cards. And, yeah. If you don't know what Soulbound is, you can pair it with another creature. Untap with an, another unpaired creature whenever either enters the battlefield. They remain paired for as long as you control both of them. So you can change who you're paired to ever, you know, whenever a new one come, new creature comes in. As long as Thundermare is paired with another creature, each of those creatures has. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, put a plus one plus one counter on this creature. That's pretty good. This would almost make me want to go from green from white from Mardu to maybe Naya horses but I don't know Naya horses it's not that I don't feel like Naya horses would be as good maybe if you think so leave it down in the comments below which one do you think would be better in a three color horse deck then we get into our multicolored horses for one a green and a white it's a three three horse and whenever you cast a creature spell that has an adventure put a plus one plus one counter on him it does it oh and it doesn't need to have gone on the adventure first, which is pretty cool. Carnival Hellsteed. So you got two horses. Well, technically, I guess you just have one horse because it would just be one body, one entity. Huh, that art is super creepy. But for four, a black and a red, it's a 5 4 first strike with haste, and it has unleashed. You may have this creature into the battlefield with a plus one plus one counter on it. It can't block as long as it has a plus one plus one counter. Huh. You can play this in a Marchesa deck and you can kind of bounce the counters around with the Ozolith or something. I don't know. And now we're going to get into our new Lord of the Rings ponies. Build the pony for three and a white. It's a 1 4 legendary creature, so it could be a commander of a mono white in artifact based. Pony deck. When build the pony enters the battlefield, create two food tokens. Sacrifice food to underturn target creature you control. Signs combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power. I don't know if horses have been known. I, I feel like horses aren't as big on their toughness than they are their power. Yeah. Motivated pony for four and a green. Trample and haste. It's a three three. And whenever a motivated pony attacks, attacking creature gets plus one, plus one to end of turn. If a food entered the battlefield under your control this turn, untap those creatures and they get an additional plus two, plus two into end of turn. That's pretty cool. Because if you're in a food based deck, then you just keep make, giving them an anthem. And here we come to our last card in our horses saga. It wouldn't be a saga, it's only a, a, our two part episode. Uh, Shadow Facts, Lord of Horses. For three, a red and a white. Legendary creature horse. Horses you control have haste. Whenever Shadow Facts, Lord of Horses attacks, you may put a creature card with lesser power from your hand onto the battlefield, tapped and attacking. 
And it is a 4-4, so this could helm your red-white horse deck if you felt the need for it. I feel like this would be really good, but I feel like to be able to capitalize on all the horses, you would need to go Naya or Abzan or even Mardu for even better because Shadowfax is really good, but you, so you want the red and the white. So you can go Naya to add the green. You can go Mardu to add black, which green isn't a lot. Black is a whole lot. Uh, blue, I don't even think would be worth playing for horses if you're doing three colors. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below who you think would be the better horse commander if you couldn't choose a horse. I know that's a restriction, but, you know, what they say, restriction breeds creativity. So, but, ladies and germs and gentlemen, that's going to be it for today. I appreciate everybody that watches, likes, comments, and is subscribed. I want to thank all my new subscribers and all my old subscribers. I want to thank y'all for allowing me to keep doing what I'm doing and, you know, still tuning in for the non-zombies. If you were here strictly for the zombies, I apologize. We've actually caught up, except for, you know, some of the stuff I want to do here and there. But, once again, I can't thank you guys enough. But, that's going to be it for today, and I'll see you guys next time in the graveyard.